Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, back to you with a brand new video for the channel, and somebody has informed me about a new mod uh, for Pokemon Go. It seems like people are finally realizing you could just, you know, manipulate the game via memory injection like PG Sharp, or, you know, like they've been doing for ages on iOS, and actually manipulate the game and at least help make it a little... Uh, better for those who you know want to play it quickly so like there's a ton of features to this mod I have it installed on my spare phone my essential phone because you do need to be rooted for this so so far it's not a bad experience um they definitely hide a lot of things behind a paywall or beta testing but you know that's normal that's expected you know I'd expect something like that uh actually hold on let me pull up a video real quick from a DM on Facebook. Uh, thanks to my friend Corey for actually sending me the uh, video and letting me know about Pokemon. Give me one second to open up the video he sent me. We're going to react to it, basically. I haven't actually watched this yet. So here's the video he sent me. Um, we're going to watch it. So basically what this shows is uh, it's a shiny scanner is their newest feature. And this is something that iOS uh, uh, IPA mods for like iSpoofer and stuff like that have had for quite some time now, actually. But this is finally coming to Android. I'd love to see it come to PG Sharp because realistically, that's the only feature I'm missing on PG Sharp that I want is a shiny scanner. Um, who knows how many Pokemon you obviously miss that are shiny and don't even know it. So this is from these guys. This sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can get their mod from uh, Pokemon.dev if you want to get it. Yeah, I commented on it earlier, but I did not actually uh, watch the video at all because I kind of, you know, I understand what they mean by shiny scanner. So we're going to watch this and uh, see how it works. So far, the basic version, let me tell you real quick, the basic version features. So the free version has perfect throw, guarantees randomized excellent throws, Pokemon doesn't attack, move, or jump, completely missed balls are recovered, and for the explorers, which is uh, kind of like beta testers, um, AR plus expert handler gives an, you extra XP per catch. Um, spawn booster. Increases spawn radius and loading speed, making Pokemon located further away spawn immediately. There's also a Team Rocket Blast Off 2 Reloaded. Instantly wins all Team Rocket Go battles. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually disabled on the free version. Um, instant Catch immediately exits encounters after successfully catching a Pokemon. On this mod, it's way better... And handles way better than on PG Sharp. On PG Sharp, the game actually glitches, and the Pokemon that you caught still stays on the map uh, once you're out of the catching uh, section of the game. And it's really annoying because if it's a lot of Pokemon around you, you don't. You sometimes tap it by accident, and it gives you an error. Um, maximum FPS unlocks the game's frame rate, allowing an overall smoother and more immersive experience. Uh, that's a locked feature. There's also block non-shiny encounters. Skips encounters with any non-shiny Pokemon without respawning them back. That's another feature that's uh, locked on this APK. Maximum FPS sounds really pointless to me, though, because I have a Razer Phone 2 that's 120 um, hertz screen refresh rate, which means I can get up to 120 FPS on that phone. I've played Pokemon Go on that phone a lot actually almost exclusively now and it just there's i don't get it i don't understand the point in uh pg and unlocking the frame rate um it looks like it's running 120 fps because it looks better than it does on my essential phone which is 60 hertz looks better than on my tcl which is like garbage and it looks better on any tablet or my even my girlfriend's s8 so I don't really understand the point in that one. It doesn't seem like it'll realistically do much. Uh, skip encounter intro. So it doesn't play the uh, animation. It just shows you the Pokemon and you can instantly throw a ball. You can catch Pokemon so quickly with this mod. It's ridiculous. 
uh, replace names with IV encounters, in encounters, show encounter IV on the actual map. So replace names is it shows the Pokemon's IVs in encounters by replacing its nameplate, which you'll see on this video. Show encounter IV shows a toast or notification in encounters with the IVs of a Pokemon. I'm actually going to disable that. Then um, here's three more features that are disabled unless I guess you like pay for it. Uh, raid pack makes raiding faster and gives you extra seconds in a raid battle, skip CP counting, raid battle intro, gym animations, and other transitions. There's touch and go, instantly exits the encounter when the ball touches the Pokemon regardless of the outcome. Great for farming for Stardust and experience. Um, and transfer on catch, automatically transfers the Pokemon you catch that is not 100 IV, IV zero, shadow, raid, or shiny. Um, that's pretty cool. Those three features are locked. Instant Spin automatically spins Pokemon or Pokestops with a single tap, preventing any further interaction until it's ready to spin again. That'd be useful for me at work because there's a Pokestop right there. Uh, remind my ball. This is a cool feature. Keep using the ball that you have selected in previous encounters. So it doesn't always start with the Pokeball. It'll be like a Great Ball or an Ultra Ball if that's what you used in the last encounter. I wonder what happens if you use that, but it's like a premier ball or something, or for like catching a shadow. Fast evolution completely skips the cutscene for evolving. Um, show IVs in inventory and speed mode. Speed mode makes Pokemon spawn quicker on the map, blocks several animations, pop ups, and useless dialogues. Then there's also mass transfer any Pokemon, it allows selecting and mass transferring any kind of Pokemon regardless of its type or status. So that's all the free stuff. So now, I'm going to go back in game real quick. There's a Pokemon that spawned, and I want to catch it real quick. Because I'm trying to get some uh, candies from it. It escaped. So let's watch this video. Pokemon escaped! I could just switch to a better ball, but whatever. Anyway, let's watch this. So challenging wasn't it. We set out some challenges of our own. Why is this a vertical video, first of all? Not everyone's going to watch on a cell phone. Pokemon, the only reason I'm still playing Pokemon Go was a stretch of trying to catch raid Pokemon with excellent throws. Basically a bunch of, uh, hey, this is what people are saying about our mod. Which, I wonder how new this is, because I actually haven't heard of this until now. Better than anime titties. Hey, a lot of things are better than anime titties. Give me real titties. So, yeah, these are all the features that you can get from them. Which, I wish a lot of this was in uh, PG Sharp. but um, Or was a better version of PG Sharp. So, like, as you can see right there, that was shiny on the map rather than uh, only shiny when you actually finally click on it. Same with that Buizel, which is freaking sweet. That is so badass. I love that. That is so cool. That definitely needs to be like a main... Honestly, like, why not make that an actual feature in the game? It's so stupid that you have to guess. It's so stupid that you have to click on every single Pokemon. It would be so cool to be walking across the map just da di da di da Holy crap, that's a shiny that spawned. I mean, it only spawns for you anyway, nobody else around you, and that would be so freaking badass. That would be, it would be way cooler to see the shiny Pokemon on the map as you're moving around than it would be to see the shiny Pokemon, you know, only when you tap on it. It's so stupid that it's only for tapping on it. But here's something I want to do in this video. I want to tear apart the APK. You know me. I'm going to tear apart the APK. So let's do it. I'm going to put that down. We're going to go back to games and apps, Pokemon, Espresso, because that's what they call it. And we're going to tear it apart. So we're going to decompile it. This shouldn't take too long, realistically. So it's decompiling the APK. It's going to rip all the stuff out of it. It's going to um, undo all the classes.dex and just show me everything that's in the APK because that's what we do on my channel is we analyze 
apps, programs, and games. And then sometimes we also play them, sometimes we hack them, sometimes we mod them. You know, it's what I do. So it's decompiled. Now we're going to go to the directory here and let's check it out. So here's our manifest, some unknown stuff, some properties, the Smalley code, which we can look at in JADX more easily. None of this is that important. Original files and assets. So there's ARM and ARM64 injector. These are huge files. I wonder if these are just archives, like hidden away as no extension. Thought so. Although it's, they are, I've seen these kind of files before and I cannot remember what they're called, but this is obviously the biggest file. Let's just see what happens if I extract it. And I open it like a uh, hex editor. Let's open it in Notepad++, or HXD. HXD is a better option for this. I just want to know what it's going to look like, basically. That's the whole point in this. Oh, why didn't it? So yeah, it's just a... whole bunch of stuff, basically. Hmm. Very interesting. So let's do let's do some searching through here because might find something interesting. So like let's look at modules. Do spawn. So there are just plain old strings of text in here. Let's just see, the whole word is not in here, okay. Let's see, rocket. Can't find rocket, that's not surprising. Oh, well, yeah, that's just a file. No worries on that one. It is a gigantic file though, that's really surprising how big it is, honestly. I mean, I do wanna kinda go through every single one of these files and see what they are, but that's going to take a lot of time that realistically I don't want to spend on stuff that's going to look like this, honestly. Because realistically, I don't think any of this code is actually useful as much as I'd like it to be. So I'm not going to worry about that. And then there's scripts in here. So what are the scripts? Well, there's the anti-cheat. Edit with Notepad++. Okay, let's... Definitely some sort of encryption. Uh, let's see, we'll do like the smallest one, which is either the skip encounter intro and IV names. So actually it looks like, that's really interesting. It's, so the APK is physically missing the other scripts. You would actually need the beta APK to even unlock the stuff anyway. So let's go com, Pokemon, Espresso. Very simple injector service. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, we need JADX because JADX will make this easier. Modding, tools, JADX, bin. I don't know why I keep that stuff. Let's open up JADX real quick. And we'll just check out the classes.dex and see what we got. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Supposed to be able to open the APKs in this, but no harm, no foul. We can just go APK easy tool. Oh, come on. Open up. Pokemon. Original. Actually not going to have that in here. Hold on a minute. I got to, I have to extract it actually now that I think about it. So. I normally already have the app extracted. I don't normally do it this way. <laughs> I didn't think about this. I'm just going to pull the classes.dex and okay, you can't, oh, I can't do that because it's open like this. Got it. I forgot this was open. 
This is right here. It's fine. Why isn't it showing the... Oh, I didn't get to this folder yet. Idiot moment. Don't worry about it. So, Pokemon Espresso. Let's look at their injection service. It's all encrypted, as I would have expected. That's exactly how they should do it, in all honesty. Cool, cool, cool. I want to know... How to decrypt those strings. That's the thing I want to know, but like, I'm going to have to do so much digging. Uh, let's search the word script. It was what, script? Scripts? I forget what it was actually called here. I have this open twice. Jesus Christ. Uh, original, no, assets, that's right, scripts. So, this it checks that folder. This is definitely not easy to read through. Holy crap, did they definitely do a number on this? Which, you know, rightfully so. I'm not mad. Like, this is how they should do it. If they want to keep people out so they can't steal the shit, this is how you do it. Just need to understand. It looks like they have a script creator in here. So script created. Error creating file. Interesting. What was the other one? So scripts. This is trying to read it right here is what this is. So file output stream is this thing. Just need to know something like what's the key, for example. What method are they using to encrypt it? I have to go through literally everything, honestly, to figure it out, probably. And that's just going to be, I'm not going to say a nightmare, but definitely not easy. Oh, these are all different functions in this file. Oops. Main activity stuff. Just open it. So, yeah, if I want to know what anything is, I got to figure out how to decrypt all this. And I don't know enough about classes.dex to actually do that. So I'm probably not going to do it. Setting up Pokemon service. I mean, at least I know I can change some strings, I guess, if I wanted to. But that's... You know, not the point here. Um, yeah, I really have no idea. It's a bunch of crap is what trying to read this is. It's a bunch of crap. There's nothing we can do here. I wonder why it won't inject into something like Pogo. Like uh, PG Sharp, I mean. Let me... Because it will not attach to PG Sharp. Kind of understandable. I just want to figure out why. I'm guessing it's something to do with addresses or they inject in the same way. Let me open... Pokemon Go, there you are, App Info. So it is still the same package name for PG Sharp. There's just something about it trying to inject that isn't happy, frankly. frankly. Um, and I tried a lot of things, and I'm guessing it has something to do with, like, uh, you know, memory being in use somewhere or something like that. Uh, that they can't hook because PG Sharp is hooking it. 
So I'm not really going to mess with it too much. I mean, there's no reason to change this. You could probably get this working with the Galaxy App Store version if you change that string. I don't know what the Galaxy App Store install directory name is or modifying that name of that folder and then modifying it here you could have multiple instances of Pokemon Go installed. So there is some room for modification here. It could be like an advanced feature. I wonder actually, hold on, let me see if their Discord has like a suggestions tab. Hold on. So there is not a way on their Discord to request features or anything like that. Um, realistically, I could actually see how much of a headache it would be if it was like an advanced feature, but they could really hide it behind an advanced button. Like, hey, do you really know what you're doing with this? And then go from there. And maybe even edit, allow you to edit this time would be kind of nice too, because I'm wondering if due to how PG Sharp works, this is too soon to manually inject. So maybe what I'll do is I'll edit this and I'll make it like 10,000. And then it'll actually hook during the um, during the loading screen instead, which is fine. And then, you know, this would be possible to change. This would be possible to simply make a text box. And then anywhere that you have to see this, it would be possible to, you know, obviously turn that into whatever it would be in a text box. Just wondering. Interesting. But I mean, you already need root to use it, so. I already know all these things. See what's in here. Doesn't look like anything important. Yeah, this is all just this stuff. Main activity, let's see, module settings. Nothing here that's of any interest. So the same. Not much here that's of any interest, not surprising. Injection service isn't anything surprising. Wonder if I search the word explorer. Nope. So realistically, there's not much that's honestly surprising in the classes.dex. I'm not surprised it's encrypted. I'm surprised it's not on PG Sharp. Um, PG Sharp would be possible to modify in one way or another, but realistically, there's no reason to, unless you want to make PG Sharp free. Um, and I have yet to figure out a way to do that because they didn't do it by an app where you can edit a classes.dex. They did it by a uh, another method. Oh, my brain is farting. Oh, my God. Oh, they did it by a custom library in uh, injection and then that custom library does everything itself so you know that's uh that's the newest mod for pokemon go for android um it is not a spoofer or anything like that but you can combine it fairly easily with like gps joystick or something like that if you're on a rooted device so i don't know interesting very interesting program but i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh people seem to keep requesting pokemon go content I want to learn to make my own mod like this. Maybe in the future we can. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.